Hello everybody and welcome to Fnatic vs Complexity. We started off here on Nuke and we're going to be rolling on into the pistol round. As you guys can see, my name is Mitch. Alongside myself is the beautiful Dean Brown and we are ready to roll with Complexity on their T side. This is the map pick of Complexity, but a pretty strong map for Fnatic still. Definitely up there is one of the stronger maps for Fnatic for sure. So it's not going to be an easy one for Complexity. They've sent one player down secret, but as you can see, they are setting themselves up for a quick A split to come in. Ronan is at least able to find one spot. Another couple of players moving in through the hook, but not really much going to be able to done about that uh, to actually be done about that, at least for now. But you see Blame F coming in. Jermaine cuts off the vent rotation. The nade going over. Fortunately, they had just gone ahead and topped that bomb. I'm not trying to put it in place immediately, but obviously this is also giving Fnatic so much time to set themselves up. Allowing eventually the peaks to begin to come in. The opening actually being found in favor of Poison. JW with the CZ up the vent and then straight back down as he didn't want to stick around for that fight. Where's the bomb going here? Config seems to be making his way into heaven. Might have been a thought for a second about going through ramp, but Flame F having called the player going down the vent is not going to be the best. There's actually a bit of a race on Dean. I see Flusha on his way into heaven at the same time that Config clears out hell. He's going to walk up the ladder and the timing might just be perfect, but he's in the peripheral vision just about. Can't land the shot, the ladder in accuracy, tearing him apart. And Blame F taking a little bit of damage. They know where both players are. For Fnatic, it's just about running that clock down. 25 seconds, they even focus in on Blame F and take him out. Config, though, has made his way to B and he'll secure a plan. 1v3 afterwards. Is config though. I've seen him do some crazy stuff. And yeah, there's the first headshot peeks back in. But you see JW and Crims just working together, ensuring that even if he was to find another, the trade would immediately be ready. So that defuse easily coming in. JW actually stealing it. Crims is like, hello, I have the kit. Why am I not the one on the but the main thing being, of course, they do get themselves that open and round win. And as you mentioned, this is, of course, the map choice of complexity coming into the series. You then have Inferno being the choice of Fnatic. And if needed, as the decider, we, we would be seeing Train, which I think would be a little bit too difficult for complexity. So if they want to be coming through with the series, I think their best chances are probably on Nuke and Inferno. And talking about chances, they have got the opportunity to take Inferno. I mean, we know Fnatic have got close games there in the past, and Nuke is historically an alright map for complexity, with the exception of the recent loss to Heretics. I mean, they beat Astralis, they beat North when you're taking down Danish teams on this map. That's always a good sign. Ents as well, not as good a sign. But they beat them 16-8 still. For Fnatic, though, they're strong here. Again, with the exception of their game versus Heretics, Mouse Sports. They beat them 16 to 1, dominated them, and I think it was Pro League. I think it was the final of Pro League. Yeah, I believe so. If I recall, they were down by a couple of maps, and that one was all struggling for a while. But yeah, I was looking at those results as well, and that was the one that immediately stood out to me. The fact that they were able to get such a, a convincing victory on Nuke Up against most sports. With this being the map choice of complexity, obviously you know that they're going to be comfortable. We've seen them have some good games on it in recent memory as well. But it is Fnatic that they're up against, so it is certainly not going to be easy with the pistols here. I mean, already having one kill, they haven't put in a lot of investment. If they can get one more, then I think they can be happy with the damage that, they can, that they've can that they outputted in this round. But that's still not going to be easy, because now it's only Rush that's left standing. Two players low. Oh, the headshot as well, right on the brawl. And that would have opened up a world of opportunities had he not have been traded out immediately. Fnatic up 2-0. to zero. The losses are decent. I mean, Complexity have forced down quite a lot of damage to that CT side, and as they reinvest into their armor and weaponry, you look into a pretty weak situation uh, for the next round. Fnatic have a lot of pressure on them to win this one here, and considering the damage they've let Pistols do, you definitely keep Complexity in with a shot of taking this opening buy round. Seems like early on you're going to see some presence towards that A site. Or maybe not, actually. It's outside. On figures thought setting up for a little bit of utility the push in by crims with the pistol that was incredibly brave but as he falls now a man advantage in play for complexity to work with yeah, brave and surprising i wasn't really expecting that or at least if the aggression was to come in that he would have some teammates try and follow up at least attempt to get the trade but no he kind of just goes down leaves them in a fairly difficult spot the only real positive being that he got a bit of info about there being at least a couple of players in there so they know that it is the main position that we see complexity focusing on early in the round, but I mean, with so much time left with an open and advantage, they can go ahead, move back, set up these smokes now as they look to try and get that outside control. And for the moment, it's pretty much just being given up by Fnatic. They can't really afford to hold it. 
On the man disadvantage, it's going to be quite difficult for them to play any information game as well. Once those smokes go down on outside, they're not sure if Complexity are making their way into secret or not. Instead, bolstering down this A defense, and they will have to play a bit of a retake if they lose the B side, with ramp being the only place that they're actively defending there. The other issue is that with ramp, he has to be worried about the B side. That's why Golden goes down, plays on it. They can focus on both angles, but this does lead to a fairly spread out defense as the A push comes through. JW's tucked in the corner, good for one. Got a teammate on side as well. Yeah, that Molotov was massive that was sent in, helping out JW quite a bit. Roland able to get one from the bomb site as well. He used low health, but as you said, have the assistance coming in at this point in true heaven. Okay, we will see Poison being able to find himself one as he comes through May, and now it's all on flame. F gets the headshot. Seven health remaining to try and pull this one off as the molly goes down from flush it, at least delaying the bomb plant. And yeah, I mean, with no time, there wasn't really anything Blame F could do. It just comes in even after time. Flusher gets himself the kill. What the hell? What happened right there? I didn't realize the time was quite that low at that point just because he was so willing to get off the bomb plant. It confused me. Uh, I guess he thought that because the time was low, the aggression would come forward. But once the realization came that he wasn't planting, well, they knew they had the round under their belt. All they had to do was play that passive angle. And now 3-0. to zero. Complexity with one player unable to buy. And overall, this uh, you have to look at the previous games for Fnatic, right? Up against Heretics, it was incredible. Brawlin had 36 kills, and they lost that game. When you're that close to 40 bomb, and that was regulation, mind you. 16-14, the Heretics. When he is a huge player when it comes to this map. The real issue for them was Maka. Maka on the AWP played a massive role coming into especially the CT side, where Fnatic were very, very infrequently able to claim any control of outside. Now for Complexity, the idea of them being able to do the same sort of thing uh, with Poison certainly is active in my mind, but when you look at how Poison's been playing on Nuke recently, it, it doesn't strike me as a, an overwhelming positive. In fact, Config, even the one to take the scout coming into this on the T side than you wouldn't have seen on Poison's previous lineups. Partly, I would presume, just so that he can ensure himself the AWP in the next round. I think Config mm -hmm. having that little bit of extra money just wanted to try and cause some damage. Hasn't really amounted to very much for them, though. Although he's been the only man to have actually found a frag so far. Almost helped out there by JW as he actually think down his teammate. Blame F though has creeped him behind heaven, and yeah, this won't be expected. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Okay. I mean, if, he, if Blame F gets even one more kill here, then this round is much, much more costly than Fnatic would have hoped for. But Crims, he comes in, says no, taps off the head. But overall, I think Complexity can still be happy with getting two kills there. We haven't seen a clean round as of yet from Fnatic, so you can see their economy, of course, being kept in a fairly weak position. Especially because they have that SMG saved over. I mean, they're rifles that are removed from play. Crims wasn't able to upgrade in the end, so he's left down on the MP9, dropping an M4 to one of his teammates. Now, all together, it is a... a comfortable enough buy for Fnatic, but it is more about the cash that's left in the bank. As you move into this, Blame F is pushed down to a MAC-10, the rest of the team pulling out the AKs. No AWP making an appearance on that T side just yet, despite Poison having that extra bit of cash that he could have dedicated towards it. Smoke's on outside, and they're going to see aggression, but they've spotted that close smoke, which normally, for complexity, almost every time, means that they're playing close at red. They didn't even seem conscious of it, and perhaps they've done a little bit of research into Fnatic and realized that that's just something they're going to try to, to use to open up angles around there, or indeed just to slow down the T-side if they did move forward a little quickly, like they are over the roof, and hello, Blame F and Config, two fantastic openings. Brilliant flashes to give the chance for Config to get that kill as well, Golden doing what he can but it is only enough for the one kill to be found. So it's still a massive advantage right now for Complexity in the four on two. You can see obviously Fnatic having to force the issue. JW was trying to see if he could claw anything back in their favor towards outside, but not really being allowed. Now they have most of their focus on this bomb site. JW trying to rotate back in through hell, just doesn't expect Rush to be so far forward. And you can see with that now immediately, they're gonna route this down towards B. Ramp control, secret control, they'll be able to go in even if there was a player here. It would be pretty easy at least for them to be able to ensure that trade. So the bomb will be planted uncontested. Brolin, with the economy that Fnatic have, is pretty much forced to save. And even then, he's a bit scared that there could still be a player lurking around here. You know, I actually must correct myself. It must have been a, a different map, and I can't recall which I'm considering. 
perhaps Inferno, but I'll, I'll check in between the breaks. When I think back on the performance that Complexity had on Nuke, Poison was actually a very uh, pivotal factor versus Heretics, even with Maka performing so well, which was the thing I remembered immediately. Uh, he was actually returning a lot of that. I think he was somewhere in the region of 25 kills by the end of that. And indeed, across their last three to four series, Ents, Astralis, North, he's always been present. So not to be unfair, I was just mis misremembering some of the stats that I'd seen earlier on. I think it was, yeah, I think it was Inferno I was looking at complexity on. We'll confirm that in between the next one. Small confusion. Just don't want to be yeah, mean I'm having a look at that matchup you were talking about as well, though. Yeah, Poison was up there on 25. He only had one mm -hmm. kill less than Maka. So, unless you consider one, one kill less to be <laughs> terrible, then no, uh, I don't know what to say. But uh, yeah, open and round finally being found there from Complexity. Now they can start trying to claw their way back into this one. And I mean, with the economy that we have for Fnatic, they are only able to afford two M4s, a scout, a couple of pistols behind them. JW actually trying to face in towards the door already has been liked up by the Alpha Poison. Good damage being output towards the boys on Fnatic already and just making what is already a pretty difficult round for them, lacking the weaponry even more difficult. And look at this, Bronan wants to go aggressive, has the help of JW, who will oh. connect the shot, but eventually being followed up on Brolin though, may be able to catch a couple off guard, gets the force, does some good damage, but now he's pinned in the door. This is troublesome, the smoke nearly giving the escape and will in the end. But at this point, he's on 11 health, he's gonna need assistance, flushes here to deliver, as is Golden. Complexity's reactions to immediately once they see the player pushed up squeaky go out through main and start or hut and try to start causing some damage on that site catch the player running out of squeaky after was solid but the return on frags from Fnatic out of absolutely nowhere the deagle now upgraded from golden he's got an AK and with low HP on both teams Complexity are at the ones at a disadvantage they have to plant this bomb and as they do they leave at least one player exposed for Flusher to swing on out and take the kill blame F now in a 1v2 and what can he do do there is an op below him hasn't taken it instead plans for single door hoping that they haven't made it there yet and whilst they were not in time golden's about to swing around no one where he is opens the door and closes the door on the opportunity for complexity to take this an op upgraded for free as well although really saved over oh no actually they had the scout on jw right so that's even yeah. a little bit of extra bonus they've got an ak to play with as well and a pretty positive round for fanatic but you do have to consider, especially considering how things went wrong. They went in towards Squeaky Door, they lose JW, and then almost lose the second player following up on it as well. Was, it, Brolin was on 11 HP when he got to Squeaky again, I think. Honestly, honestly, sorry, words. <laughs> uh, it was kind of incredible that Brolin was able to survive there. He got himself the first kill. He did actually catch a couple of players, I think, as they were taking out some nades doing a lot of damage, got pinned in the corner, the molly came in, a smoke then got put down, I'm not sure exactly who that was by because so much was going on at once, but yeah, he escapes after being spammed down as well. And despite not actually getting another kill for himself, he delayed to actually allow Flusher to come in for main and Golden to come in from heaven by the time the T's pushed in, they walked into the stack and here it is, another quick A play gonna be coming through from Complexity. Rush is able to get one, Crims with a single trade on the MP9, you probably couldn't hope for a lot more with that weapon. And unfortunately, that's going to be nowhere near enough for Fnatic in this round. There's now they're left in a two on four. This one probably not going to be recovered unless Complexity makes some serious mistakes. Oh, and that Molotov JW has to just run. Okay, but okay. Flusher with the kill, that might prompt them to try and go for it. They've still got quite a bit of time and a kit to play with. But JW coming up through vents with an op. It's not the best of positions. You're going to be really limited in taking a lot of those fights. The inaccuracy on the vent, then you, you're going to have to make noise coming at the top of it and then scope in and try to take a frag. He does take Obo on the exit, but the time is too low at this point for it to really be anything of substance. It is just a weapon removed from complexity, which, although is a positive, it definitely would have left around. Good shot by Poison as well to shut down Flosha exiting in towards the CT spawn. That's really hurt the Fnatic economy as well because they can't buy anything. So whatever they had is what they have. They might just buy. Just because of the fact that obviously you see Golden is definitely on a double eco. Flusher would get 1900 in the next round which would give him enough maybe to scrape together a buy if he was willing to go for a weaker weapon and such. So yeah, they're just going to buy around the up that they were able to save over. Obviously not giving them a lot to work with. Even less than what they had on that previous force buy where they had the two rifles, uh, the two M4s the scout and then a couple of pistols. This time, they do have the opto, so if JW can find some quick openings, that could be what they need to try and bring this round early on in their favor, and he's actually gonna move down now, reacting to those outside smokes, trying to set himself up to hold that secret push, and he is gonna find a lot of players coming his way, but Blame F is miles ahead of everyone else. He is 
a speedy boy. As he eventually gets the trade out, poison onto Flusher, that is. Oh, the swing up from JW. We said, JW. we said about the vents earlier on, right? He didn't want to just run up there, but now that they're not on the site yet, he's like, ah, I've got a chance, an opportunity. And talking of an opportunity, the T-Site almost got two, but Brawlin, as I said, he delivers when it comes to nuke to pretty much every map, and he's doing so yet again. Training it back, keeping it possible in a two versus two, but complexity, they've opened up access to the B bomb site and they know it. Brawlin's going to be coming down vents and JW through secret. This buys them a lot of time on that T side to not only get the bomb plant, but then to take comfortable post plants as well. Yeah, I was going to say Brawlin is moving in quite quickly. He does begin to make nice as well. He's going to go ahead and open up the door a little bit for himself to have a bit more vision as he moves in. But as you said, time being given for the T-side to reposition. Config goes up the spam, not quite on point. It wasn't too far off, and now he does know the position of that player. But you also then have Rush, I believe, holding quite actively from ramp, looking to try and help out Config once this push does come in. Config, you'd imagine, is then ready to swing, but no, Rush was actually chilling back. Config tries to take the beat, gets shut down by the op, and now Rush is in a very difficult position. There is a smoke down, but they're struggling to find the bomb. Okay, JW eventually getting on it. Can Rush do anything about stopping the defuse? He cannot. And there was just barely time. Uh, that was weird. It was an unusual one. They're struggling to find the bomb, and the T's then struggling to find them inside the bomb. But with the sixth round on the board, Fnatic will be happy to take that one. JW, though, really the one. He's on your screens right now that pulled that round out. Even managing to find the... Not, not only a trade, the kill... Coming up through the vents for that second frag of his of the round, taking the players that were coming through outside. I think it was Oboe that he just removed from the game and straight back down the vents. It was like a whack-a-mole. Up he comes, hits you, and disappears. A very aggressive form of whack-a-mole. Yeah, it was, it was all of them, though. It's not like he was just popping his head up and down to take the shots and hoping for the inaccuracy to work. Nah, he just flew up, landed on his feet, took the shot, and bailed right back out. <laughs> it was a really interesting one. But yeah, great round from JW. We had mentioned that off was going to need to come up big, and that's exactly what we've seen from him. Taking a bit of damage early on in this round, but we do also see some being returned as complexity all group up over towards ramp. It's looking like it is going to be another quick play coming in. JW has positioned himself towards hell to give the assistance over to gold. The Molotov, I don't think going to be doing too much, but Golden's M4, it'll be doing quite a lot. A double kill being found. Poison comes back in and will eventually get that one trade. At this point, I think they may just want to concede ramp. Although they do know no poison is alone. Yeah, not a lot of buddies to help him out here, Dean, sadly. All by his lonesome. The one that could get it done if he's given the opportunities and taking himself one, moving to B. The bomb plan should be possible. Let's just shift walking down. And if he goes for single, which indeed it looks like he's even going into single. And now he's hearing a player in vents. That's his next victim. At least he wants to make them that. A little bit slow getting up there and shot in the back as Crims had it held down from secret. Seven on the board for Fnatic and only losing two players. They're not doing all too shabby. Complexity, they realize there's a couple of problems in what's been going down. So the attack pause aptly timed as their chances of really clawing into this with a decent T half are starting to disappear if they don't find the upcoming. Certainly diminishing, as you said, as the rounds go on. And we're not expecting the full buy here in this one, though. That's the issue. They don't have enough to actually pull it out. So maybe in their half investment, which they have been finding some success with, at least on those quicker plays. But most likely it will be the next where they begin to try and actually claw their way back into this and... The issue is, normally on the T side, you say, yeah, you're comfortable enough to just keep grinding out those rounds, but it's getting into a position where complexity can no longer afford that. They need to try and put a stop to the economy of Fnatic, and with that, get themselves some control so they can actually get a few rounds in a row and build themselves back up into a decent position as they head over to the CT side. Again, this is their map choice, so you do expect them to show what they're capable of. It's just a slow start here on the T side is certainly limiting that. down the flashes as well looks like complexity are going fast out to a brawl have they not seen brawlin he was blind up above and somehow he gets away with two kills they should have dealt with him immediately blind is a bad as they walked out look how close it is e even whip rolling being able to get those two kills it's still come down to the two on two that pretty much could have confirmed the round for them but it's not over although unfortunately taken 
A substantial amount of nade damage there as he was tapping the bomb, landed right at his feet. So taking down the 26 health, that is the one AK that they currently have in play. Poison doesn't have armor. He's rocking the scout for himself though, but both of these players moving from main. Good timing for Poison actually. Forces the Molotov to be dropped on Crims. What the hell was that? Must have been the no-scope or some sort of insane quick-scope flick, but now it's all on Golden. As I said, already tagged up. They're both just going to go ahead and swing. Retrieve the rifle even being found for Poison, and there it is. Complexity off the back of one of those weaker investments. Make it work. They give themselves a third round, and with that, do actually destroy the economy of Fnatic. They're going to be going in for another buy with Golden again looking at a double eco. Will they? Yeah, I, I, I believe so. Yeah, there we go. Pistols, Kevlar, few nades, a couple rifles. That's not the best of eyes. They could definitely be sitting a lot prettier. But it's one that we can see working every now and then for complexity. That fast A was ridiculous, and the smoke coming out is definitely going to make Fnatic worried that the same thing is coming in. Nades immediately going over towards the door, trying to get some damage to Molly to try and slow them. It doesn't actually fully reach over, though. I was just about to fade anyways. Brawl unspotted one as they jumped in the corner. I can't help but think that wasn't intentional. Up behind, Golden's caught, flush it, taken down, and they're left with just the one rifle. Looks like indeed Complexity this time should be able to capitalize on running the Fnatic economy down. We, we had seen them already have a couple opportunity, uh, opportunities at it earlier on when they were able to pick up those kind of two straight rounds you've seen. Anyway. Yeah, Blame F also able to find that lobby aggression. It's all on JW. He was pushing into ramp for the last while, but hasn't really been able to get himself into a position to have any impact at this point. Potentially could take down Blame F, who is low. And I mean, if he does so, that is an AK, obviously, that he could try and retrieve and carry into the next round, where they're not really going to have much to work with, unfortunately. It is likely going to have to be Fnatic taking that eco. And with that complexity, very likely clawing their way back up to five rounds already. Well, obviously, the ability to add a little more, which is looking a lot better than it was just a couple of rounds ago. Oh, if he drops down, he'll be hurt by the player and spawned. I think he's just waiting. He sees one. There we go. A little bit too big of a drop, but yeah, there we go. Eventually find... Whoops. Didn't quite clip the ladder. He's uh -oh. being chased as well. Spam to 8 HP. Can't manage to pick up the AK. They saw the smoke. They know where it came from. That's unfortunate. Complexity, four rounds. Like you're saying, Dean, yeah, definitely. They're managing to pull this into a position that wasn't looking all too likely just a couple of rounds ago. Now, five should be on the board unless they get ecoed. Which I very much doubt. We are seeing the step up from Obo up there leading the charge, but a fairly tight scoreboard towards the top. Over on Fnatic, though, it's very top heavy. JW, 15 kills on the board. And most of those with the AWP playing like an absolute madman. He's been incredible to watch. It might not be enough. Like this round here, realistically. Complexity need to be cautious and take things slow and make sure they're not isolating fights or being isolated in fights, excuse me. Oh, JW from down below the headshot to config. That's already a little bit of damage done. One more would be great for Fnatic. And they're all on outside. Blame F now has no support. But luckily, we're getting all too froggy on him. Not not too aggressive today. Yeah, the one positive with it being config up on the side that it goes down is that obviously they're not going to be retrieving that weapon. So still just stuck to those mm -hmm. pistols to try and do any further damage, which complexity are able to go ahead and overcome quite easily. No other players being dropped. We just seen them all pushing in towards that inner bomb site once they noticed that a lot of presence really was outside for Fnatic. So yeah, getting themselves that fifth round. Fnatic obviously coming back onto a buy now, but it is not that great. They don't even have a kit. Nades could be a lot better. There's two Famasas in play. So if Complexity managed to pick this one up, then they're likely going to go ahead and tie up the scoreline off the back of it and keep themselves in a, with a position of even potentially winning the half, which of course wasn't looking possible even just like three rounds ago. Molotov on outside from Flusher to try and disrupt any smokes that go down, but Complexity, they're looking favorably towards inside. They already had so much success here, and blitzing out, the flashes are good, and nobody can see a thing as Brawlin gets a bullet to the face. Fnatic now on a 3v4 retake. They have to allow that bomb to go down. Oh, the molly didn't actually land. Never mind. The nade lands on JW up in heaven. Oh, we're going to be able to get that kill on Golden, and with that pretty much confirms the round. Yeah, Complexity have been loving these quicker plays, whether we've seen a, a couple towards outside, we've seen one or so in towards ramp, a lot of them towards the A-bomb site, but this time it was a, a very good idea because obviously they knew Fnatic were definitely going to be lacking with the nades and molotovs and such to actually try and slow that down. Oh, Flush are pushing up outside. I doubt he expects this player up on solo. Will Blame F try and check below? Yeah. Oh, 
I don't think he spotted him. Might just get away with it then. Unlikely they check it this late. So close. Oh, but he's good. The yeah, the inner take has been fantastic. Complexity getting so much done in there uh, ever since that pistol round came out where they had a Mac 10, a couple of pistols. They rushed out. They left Brawl and unchecked, which I thought was going to be the end of times for complexity. And he found a double kill. That was the script already written the round over. But no, they kept getting kills. They'd already found two before Brawl was able to answer back. They take him down and the site was theirs. And from that point, they realized that even in that round where Fnatic had utility, to slow them down to stop that push that it wasn't being used efficiently and with a smoke drop to block off the molly and flashes coming in through there was not a lot that Fnatic could do repeating the process here with weapons like you said when Fnatic don't have a lot to work with to slow down that push and it's even more successful with the two weapons saved Fnatic are investing slightly into a little bit of util not surprisingly but with six rounds on the board complexity already having a fantastic t half we need to see Fnatic win this one and start fighting back before things really get out of hand. Honestly, if they want to recover this half, they need to pull it up to nine rounds, which is not too likely. Eight rounds is not going to be a position they feel comfortable in. In general, giving away seven to the T side is going to make the T's feel really comfortable. And especially considering the start that Fnatic had into this, going up seven to two, they will just feel like they've definitely let it slip away. But again, not expecting much in this round, so I think they will be aiming to just try and pull it up to 8 at the half time. It won't be the worst position, especially if they pick up that pistol round. JW being naded and then spammed up, unfortunately, through the smoke as he came back up the vent for Stolen. He's been hitting some good shots so far throughout this one. Does have a chance now as they move in towards the ramp, but not hitting the first eagle shot immediately. He is forced to retreat back and just try and at least delay. Okay, eventually finds one. They will move forward onto B, but with Flusher finding a kill elsewhere as well, it's not too bad of a position to be in. And look at this from JW. Into a position so quickly that they may not expect. He has some help coming in, but they all peek. Complexity played us so well. Things are falling apart, though, for Complexity. Still to get the bomb down and in a 2v2. Fnatic spread out. Brawlin moving towards single door, and Flusher needed that fight. He found it, and here's Brawlin to close out the round. That was risky. Had he had Flusha have gone down, Brawlin would be all by himself. They could safely plant and cover it, and that would be a difficult 1v2. But hitting that shot was the turning point, putting them on 8 in complexity. Although they'll get a bye for the final round, are going to be in a little bit of trouble. They want to pull up to 7. They want to get that convincing half through. When you look at Fnatic, actually, that game versus Mouse Sports we were talking about, it was their CT side. Or they 14 won and then they just won their T half with the pistol. So, you know, in all honesty, we haven't seen a lot from them uh, versus Heretics. They got eight rounds again, another team that are decent on this map. But their T side could be shaky versus a, a team like Complexity who are so comfortable on Nuke. Definitely possible. I do feel like Fnatic, if they were to get going though early on that T side by picking mm -hmm. up the pistol and such, and if JW is able to get that off out and he's feeling confident that they could be very difficult to contend with. But obviously, getting themselves the opening kill already here going into the final round of this half, if they can manage to have come out with the nine rounds, then I think they at least feel like they've done a good job in the end to salvage back into a somewhat comfortable position. And outside smoke being thrown down. It's only Blame F who's really going to be moving with that. The rest of them in lobby at the moment, I think, focused over towards ramp. But JW, he could have a chance to actually cut the bomb off. Not quite going to be able to catch Rush coming around the corner, but will they be holding for this poison? Focused on Lobby. He nearly lines them up. Actually does. Follows up in a second on towards Rush. Nearly a double from Oba, but Crims is able to stabilize and keep it in the four on one. And Blame F is all alone. You can't blame him for being the last man standing as he was on the lurk outside. But unfortunately, with none of his teammates finding success, he's in a pretty much insurmountable uh, clutch at that point. And yeah, indeed, goes down 9-6. to six. Fnatic with a good recovery towards the end. But overall, complexity, they've done a good job to get those that four-round streak there towards the end. Can they get back into winning ways now once they swap over to the CT side? We will find out soon, guys. We're going to go ahead and send it on over to a break. And welcome back, everybody. Half number two going live. Complexity on the CT side. Six rounds. They did all right for the terrorists, the attacking. It was looking pretty grim for them at one point. They were seven to two down. And yet they recovered it into a pretty workable position. Now they've got to make it work. And Brawlin already outside. He's tucked up close. He's ready to take a fight. Doming off head after head. 
And that is some crazy control for them to have early on over on the Fnatic side. This has opened up everything because as soon as those two tilts come in, you see the rotations commence. You see the ability then for Fnatic even to push forward over towards ramp. Thankfully, Poison will eventually deal with Brolin. But they are still outnumbered in the three on four. And for the moment, they're very worried about where these possibly could be. Uh, has there been any control taken? Right now, Poison up in heaven. You have one player who has actually gone ahead and pushed in through the lobby. So yeah, Config is a good position. He can get that outside flank potentially, but he's going to need to move relatively quickly. It, it is actually the bomb, I believe, now moving back in towards lobby as well. Yeah, Flush is going to hear those footsteps. Config, I don't think he's going to expect this after clearing out lobby just a few moments ago. He's going to try and move back in now to help his teammate out towards heaven in case this A split is coming in. And indeed, Config goes down. JW in a prolonged fight eventually will fall and with rush shots are recovering one suddenly it's the two on two but realizing both of those players are towards the upper half of the map you will see that bomb just sprint to be but look how quickly rush has gotten position yeah some good damage done but he can't deny the bomb plant the nade through actually gonna do decent damage poison now on two health but a long range fight for flusha the smoke's about to fade so that shouldn't be an issue those usps just need one shot clean onto his head and he will be gone he also doesn't have armor to work with so even tapping the body is going to be pretty fatal. Yeah, that is the issue. The aim punch. Oh, actually, slightly connects on Rush right there. Who is the man trying to cover off? Yeah, no poisons left alone on the bomb with two health. There really wasn't much to be done unless Flusha didn't connect that spam true. He did have the kiss, so if he could have lasted a few seconds, maybe it was doable. But no, Flusha comes in clutch. He's going to be able to go ahead and pull off the one on two putting Fnatic into a position that I feel like they really needed after what happened towards the end of that first half. You said uh, overall it was an alright half for complexity. Yeah, definitely. But when you look at the the fact that they were down so massively and then they were able to recover it back up to that position, I think they were feeling pretty good about it. But obviously losing the pistol now, that kind of resets that mentality just a little bit. Here we see Poison on his signature weapon, the scope in hand. I guess the AWP would technically be a signature weapon, but Signature style of gun, let's put it that way. Rocking in with the scout to see what damage he can get done, but pushed off of outside with the smoke that went down early. The players that were swinging through, he didn't want to get wide swung as they kind of close. But this is really good control again for Fnatic. They'll be able to throw out these smokes. We saw it from Complexity a couple of times, but the difference here is that we've actually had the CT side send a player towards outside is Blame F. Took down in secret. And he'll spot them as they start moving towards red. With JW pressuring the ramp, they're definitely going to start getting suspicious of this being a B hit. The Molotov stops Blame F from doing much. And as it fades, the bullets stop them from doing even more. Yeah, that was a difficult position to be in. They actually didn't notice Oboe there. He hasn't shown himself as they were moving past. So, in theory, he could still potentially catch them off guard. JW, though, who is hiding in ramp, is just on the prowl with that Bison right now. Bison has been given time to at least get one. Oh, of course he's going to go for the knife. Why not? There's still one player who's rotated quickly in through single being Oboe, but only connecting a, a couple of body shots with that Deagle isn't going to be enough. And JW, ready for this flank. He is low, so if they were to clear, he would be an easy target. And it's actually JW who doesn't expect that second player. He will eventually go down. But that was a chance. I think Oboe dinked him through the corner of the door. That wouldn't be a Fnatic game without a knife in it, really, would it? The spams there by Rush are good, but no. As difficult as it looked, it proved to be. I think it was Golden they were... Uh, I don't know it was probably Brawlin they were talking to who was saying um, in one of the interviews on the mainstream, obviously we're on at the same time, so I was catching up on a lot of it at once, kind of all blended into one. But he was saying that it makes him uncomfortable about the team going in for the knives all the time. He's just sat there like, um, okay. One was like, I'm gonna knife this guy. He's like, ah, cool, cool guys. Yeah, I'm sure, especially if you can actually see what they're doing, you don't know, okay, that is an easy knife, or is it just JW being mad going for a crazy <laughs> knife? He's having a hell of a <laughs> game, know. so you can't blame him. That, that's what works for him. That's his play style. When it works, it, it does this. It does what he's doing right now. He has 20 kills, 11 deaths. You do see Flush it and Roland, of course, having a good performance so far, too. Look at him with a P250. He doesn't care about the opponents. Like, I'll, I'll fight you on even ground. Well, with a bit of armor. So we can have that AWP out in the next round without a bother. And I love that. Instead of investing into extra SMGs, he does die. But it is only a P250 at the end of the day. One for one trades. He would have liked more. Flush is now tagged. Then it actually starts getting worrying because that's a rifle that they can retrieve. Poison, even going to use a smoke up. Oh, are they going to go forward with it? They are, right? Yeah. 
because Poison wants to get the AK. But he was he ended up running in through that smoke, which could, could have been a little bit risky. Players were holding it, but they're down on the B site, bomb planted. And for complexity, Poison should just be saving this AK-47. It will help a lot, actually, with getting an AWP out comfortably with lots of utility, everything they could possibly want. The other players can look for exits, as you saw Config try, but it is doubtful that it really works. That's Poison. They, they caught him. Or he caught them, rather. Yeah, this is a really solid eco round overall from Complexity. They're going to be happy with how, how it has gone down, and especially with Poison obviously saving over that AK at this point, it's not going to be taken out of his hands. So a very solid recovery. Oh no, Poison. That's not what we wanted to see, Dean. <laughs> he managed to... I feel bad for him. He managed to take down <laughs> Golden, but then immediately afterwards he's, he's... It's not the end of the world. He's getting the offer anyway. He is. He is. And it wouldn't have helped out that much. It just would be that extra little bit of cash in the bank. Maybe a flash and a pistol. But more importantly, it would have given an AK over to one of his teammates. And that would have helped uh, when it comes down to a lot of these duels. Still, though, on 12 to 6, Complexity have got a lot to do with or without an AK. Same smoke goes down to block off some of the... Some of the angles also open up the potential for Complexity to take that aggressive stance that we were talking about earlier, but they've not gone for it. Instead, Poison holding back with the off, and as they move around clearing their close right, they've been domed out. JW does well to return a frag, but Fnatic still would a man disadvantage to work with. Yeah, that smoke down towards main was fantastic for Config to work with right there, being able to find that opening kill. As you said, a good return from JW, but there is still a rush in towards this A bomb site, and he has called in for the help of Poison, so they have the up position in heaven. Crims is the one to try and lead the charge out. Unfortunately, once they spot that player above, it seemed like JW really wasn't being cautious of the bomb site anymore, so Rush is able to get himself that one, but they are being pulled back yet again. Crims has managed to drop this into the one-on-one, -on -one and he's bringing it straight down to B. Blame, uh, Blame F, obviously, here in the vents, so we will have that info quickly, at least. But he won't be able to get himself in the position quite in time to stop that bomb plant. I believe Crims has gone ahead and planted it securely behind the silo. Now knowing that Blame F has moved in towards single, but he won't be able to hit the shot. Blame F just being a little bit quicker there. So he is able to salvage that one despite it getting a little bit too close for complexities. Like in, in the end, they do get themselves that seventh round. When Wall to pull into it, things were starting to get a little bit worse for wear over on the CT side. But you do have to remember that Fnatic... They won't be struggling too much. Look at that cash on Brawl and 8k in play. That will be a comfy buy with the two AKs thrown over. Flush and JW buying for themselves. Golden, yeah, the MAC-10. It's not a surprise. We see him with it quite a lot, liking to go in for those entries. But Flush actually surprising me a little bit. He's keeping over 1400. Investing into the UMP instead. Surely that says it's a very quick round. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, that looks to be the goal. I guess he's leading the charge. Not going into defense. Oh, going to actually no. try and move on to A initially. But they get blinded in the corner. Config is just like, thank you. It is like Christmas for him. He's gifted two frags. Rush is able to get one as well. And Brolin and Crims are left alone. It is at least two of the rifles. One of the rifles now. Sorry. Crims is gone. So yeah, Brolin just in door. Really, I guess they wanted to... He was in the back of the pack. So his goal was to try and cut off the rotations. If his teammates were to find success down through the vent. But obviously the bomb getting dropped there at that point. He's just trapped in with all focus on that position. Because that's where the bomb has been dropped. 12 to 8 complexity now with two rounds in a row. They are beginning to get themselves back into this one for sure. That was a very awkward round, though. I mean, those players just... I, I'm pretty sure they were trying to go down the vents and just missed. Went into the corner. Because they got blinded. It, it, it's of course. Fair. Of course. <laughs> yeah. It happens. But with that, like you said, it was just free kills. Sat up on top of the hut. Just spraying them down. And 12 to 8 is now a much more workable scoreline. 9 likely to come through for complexity as they face off against a weaker buy. Poison still on the scout. And tapping away at his opponents from afar on the outside. MF's in a bit of danger and being lit up to 65. It's probably, as he is doing, time to create some space, play further back and not just get taken out by these deagles for free. And then he swings out a little wider. Still winning the duel. It's a risk. Just making you look a little stupid. Though. I mean, they kind of <laughs> they can't afford to lose a player. In, in all because Poison's got a scout. If they did, if Blame F was to die... Well, then Poison just upgrades to an AWP next round and, and just takes his AK right now. So it would next round and, and just takes his AK right now. So it, it wouldn't have been the end, excuse me, the end of the world. 
But the nades as well, the kit, the Kevlar, it, it really wouldn't be worthwhile. But yeah, oh, against no. the pistols, I guess he still felt pretty comfortable. But there was a few opportunities there for the Deagle to actually connect. It just didn't. But yeah, what you were saying made the most sense. Yeah, Blame F gets the opening kill move to the back of the pack. Let his teammates take those positions where you're more likely to find contact. But he was just like, nah, I'm going to swing. That'll work. Golden's on one health, so I doubt he's actually going to be able to find any damage here for Fnatic. Not expecting much. He had a small chance there on Config, but again, as I said, one health easily finished off by Config. Three rounds now in the difference, but Fnatic are going to come straight back onto the buy. If this one goes the way of complexity, at that point, I do start believing. Well, like I said, when we were in the previous half, this is a team that's comfortable on nuke. We know that for sure. Their CT side won't have as many flaws, and you won't see those gaps in the defense that were in play, at least you would hope, in towards the A site for Fnatic. But at the same time, Fnatic are finding their feet. The T side can be a little bit slow to start. As I said the other day, it's like an oven. You've got to get it warmed up, and once it's at the right temperature, it starts to cook. But getting to that spot is where the difficulty lies. Nice. Oh. I just felt JW's pain right there. We were on his perspective. So I, just, I made the noise that I guess he would have made. <laughs> I would have been quite annoyed if that nade landed on me as well. But it, it's not the end of the world. It's just that, as I mentioned, this is quite an important round for Fnatic. Here. Despite having the lead, they don't want to let Complexity take this with that, bring it back up to it in just one round, most likely. Even with the bomb being planted, they wouldn't quite have enough to be able to get out of an investment in the next round. So it's certainly a tough spot for Fnatic. But here we go, looking for that outside control. The smokes do go down, and Molotov to stop anyone from secret being able to peek up and find any info before that push begins to come in. And you can see it was Blame F positioned here. The man you would normally expect. He's made nice now, definitely, as he falls back. But that Molotov, well-timed to go ahead and delay. Yeah, slowing them down, making sure they're not seizing too much control. The nade as well. It's a little too early. Not quite up on the corner just yet, waiting for something like that to make its way in. The boost to try and get an angle on a player down on stairs. The complexity, they're playing this close to the chest. 30 seconds. They know Fnatic are the ones that got, have to make a move, and as Poison falls, they still have to deal with the B players. Play math in position, takes one, falls back. No trade possible. And out the single door, Brawl, and caught him by surprise. He wanted to bail out way too quickly. And 40. Oh, if Obo won that fight, that would have been fantastic. But Fnatic able to make it out on the back of it. Get a bomb plant and a man advantage. A difficult one for Complexity to get back into as Config and Rush were nowhere near close enough to get in and cause any havoc as the bomb went down. Oh, the timing was nearly perfect for Flush. Uh, Config managing to get his weapon out just in time. Does hit the headshot. Golden pinned in the corner. The nade not actually going to do all that much damage to him. He was able to avoid it mostly. So they may not expect Golden to still be in this position now. I would expect them to still go ahead and clear it. But the bomb is beginning to tick away. So this is getting dangerous. Golden finds Rush dropping down. Roland is low. So that's the only positive I can see right now for Config. But the bomb already ticking away. It is just impossible now. And definitely as he is, uh, he's dead. That usually makes things quite complicated. 13 to 9. Fnatic are able to come through with another T round now. And with that, give themselves the chance to get back into winning ways. But Complexity, they're coming right back. They did the well point. to slow them down so much in secret. The nades perfectly used to keep Fnatic back and run that clock down. But just those lost fights. Blame F trying to get out the window. But Brawlin was in the perfect spot to take him down. Then swings to ramp and also deletes Obo. At that point, no one can get in to do anything about it. That bomb's guaranteed down. And despite some mistimed efforts to push into ramp, they had time on their side and played it just like that. Although, like we're saying, it's not an easy road forward for either team. The money is under threat for both. Complexity maybe with a little bit more built up. Also the slightly more expensive investments. Smokes come out aggressively on outside. The Molotov down. Blame F can't say anything about it. He won't spot the players who are creeping forward towards main. Oh, what? I don't think he's seen anything. I think that was just a little bit of a spam through the smoke, hoping to catch someone crossing towards secret even, or, of course, wrapping around in towards main as it was. And, yeah, great opening for complexity being found. A massive one, considering, as you said, they were given zero info about what was actually going on towards outside. They don't even realize right now, I don't think, that the players are picked up on ramp. Oh, maybe Obo does. Swings in, gets two. We did see JW finding that rotation. 
but other than that, it is all complexity on the kill feed. It's going to be Flush It and Golden now to try and save this round for them. Obo in the corner being tagged up quite heavily. Still finds another kill. Oh, the nade immediately in as well. They were ready for it. 51 HP. And look who's down below Flosha. He'll never suspect this as Blame F creeps slowly backwards. There's the headshot as he opened up the angle. He should get himself an AK as well. 13 to 10. Complexity keeping themselves alive. And like we said, the money was not fantastic for Fnatic. They're left in a spot where investment is pretty much impossible. They could get themselves maybe two AKs and that's it. That's what drop them one over. But this should just be a nice comfy pistol buy. Looking for a faster play. Oh, I say pistol buy. Two players not investing at all. Crimson Brawl and keeping on 2.3. Could have gotten a drop over from one of the players with stacked money, but... Wouldn't increase the chances of winning all that much, would it? No, not really. And even then, I think they want all the money they can for this next round. They only get 2,400, so it's not like they have a lot of loss bonus coming in. Ensuring that they'll have all the nades and such in this next round. That was a nice opportunity for them to maybe snatch away a kill, potentially drop poison, but unfortunately the shot's not really being connected. The nade is going to be quite hefty as well. Oh, Brawlin saw it coming. He was able to jump back and avoid the majority of the damage. Eventually going to go down to Flame FSC taps away, and yeah, it doesn't seem like these pistols are really going to be able to find a lot for them. And think coming in, and there we go. Yeah, actually followed up on by Crimson. If they could get one more kill, then this would actually be some pretty considerable damage. As you said, complexity not having a great economy either. Oh, you won't take much of Yeah, no way. There we have it. Two rounds now in the difference. Complexity grinding their way back into their own map choice here. Certainly looking a lot more comfortable on the CT side, but they need to keep this up. They do. Pulling into this does require a lot of rounds still. Five. They can only afford to give Fnatic one out of the next six, essentially, if they want to be taking it. Now, pushing into an overtime. That is a difficult task against one of the best teams in the world. But no better map for Complexity to do it on. This round sees a very fast take of outside with the rifles. We haven't seen this so far coming in from Fnatic. The smokes his brawl and crosses, this time not going to expand to death by an op. He's thankful for that. Rims, though, tagged up alongside Golden by the mollies they're running through. And Poison even picks up Flusher. Oh, oh, that was huge right there. That opening kill over as well, being able to even delay that push in towards B. JW is again the man who's lurking. If he can take down Poison, then they have an opportunity to fight back into this round. At that point, they'll be able to confirm themselves the ramp control. But the issue is now he's being flanked. I believe here in the footsteps of Rush. Okay, so we may have a chance here posted up on the angle. Rush has no idea. Presuming that he was in towards ramp instead, the actual ramp. Pitting in the corner. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to survive. And yeah, there you go. Despite the efforts of JW with the flashes, he will go down. But the bomb's already taken away a small bit. So this is winnable for Golden and Crims. JW wasted a lot of time. Oh, he did. He caused them so much complexity. Can't be careful as they come down. And that's exactly what cost Poison his life. Not ready for the player to come on his left. Golden is going to be taken out. But Crims still tucked in. They haven't spotted him in no time. They couldn't get out there, deal with him, and defuse. And that leads to... Oh, Crims even survives. Even better. That leads to 14 rounds on the board for Fnatic. A lost stop for complexity. And an investment now that will cripple the CT's economy. Should Fnatic take this here... They will go across the line more than likely. And a big play by JW in that round. But he missed his first flash. You see that? He popped it up and it got caught on the little ledge above him on the ramp. Yeah. If it I wasn't for that, that was. <laughs> it could have actually worked out because Poison was blinded in the end just about as he pushed further forward. If the first flash had have landed as intended, bouncing not off that but a little further back, who knows? It could have been an even more convincing round for Fnatic. One thing I wanted to note was, of course, Blame F having played around Secret many times. He has been constantly mollied off in that position. In that previous round, though, he got a little bit of revenge. He was the one that dealt all that molly damage as they ran down through Secret. So it was uh, just a nice little bit of revenge for him. I was going to bring it up if they won the round as being a, a pretty big play because of the amount of damage that it done. But obviously, at the end, that didn't work out for them. As you said, JW just done so much wasting that time, even not being able to find the second kill for himself. Well, here we go. That pause is gone. And a little bit of a chat was had, and complexity now if they want to get this win in regulation they need to go ahead and take all five remaining rounds they need to be flawless from this point forward jw with some bops gives them a little bit of a speed boost in towards ramp can't really capitalize on it as the molotov goes down and unfortunately it's actually poison, poison towards outside who's opened things up in favor of complexity and he has a small gap does see the first player cross and the second as well so that's some info and with that they will be able to react and begin to rotate again jw lurking at ramp oh, yeah. with flusher 
He hasn't been spotted, but they seem to be very worried about it because of how frequently it's been coming through. And the fact that they've crossed down to secret now, Config's in position, and he gets them both. The bomb dropped. It's so... Im Hold on. It's not over yet. Poison's there with an op. He's taken one. And his head domed off by Flush, and luckily, as we said, Oboe is there to help out. So it's all Gucci, and ends with Complexity taking a 12th. The fact that Poison is able to see up close the secret, though, is so important because, Dean, when they throw those smokes, right, we know that they're either going secret, trying to make a play outside, or they're, they're robbing the information from the CT side. And when they think nobody can see them and they still send players down secret, that's a pretty good tell that it is going to be a hit towards B. Yeah, they, they they had the read right there as you see, and then as soon as they found the contact in towards secret, they, uh, in towards ramp rider, they just they knew exactly what was happening. It's only pistols here again for Fnatic, as you would expect, with the fact that so far on this D side they haven't been successful, apart from off the back of picking up the pistol round and actually chaining anything together. It was three there. It's been two stray rounds since, and slowly but surely, complexity are making this a very competitive map. You did say you were worried about how Fnatic were going to do here on this D side as well, and. It hasn't been the most fantastic from them. They are certainly on the grind at the moment. Will it be enough is something that we have to just wait and find out. But that's a nice opening kill for Complexity. Again, just the pistols. We don't expect much from Fnatic. But they've been doing considerable damage on most of these rounds with the weaker buys. So if Complexity can ensure that that doesn't happen and give themselves some, uh, some security in terms of the finances, then they will be feeling good. Activity tapping away. Flush is gone. Golden and JW left at 2v5. Dean, I believe it can happen. No, obviously this is this is not the one. I've never seen them lose. <laughs> Until potentially now. Nah, but yeah, Flo JW won't be able to do much better. The fact he's got one kill already was kind of ridiculous. Nearly able to finish off Blame F. I had uh, the word flush it in my mouth because I was still kind of... Uh, I was still kind of thinking about the fact that he was able to do 50 damage from Silo with that Glock. He got like three dinks on Blame F in that fight that they had that was quite prolonged. And nearly gave the ability for JW to finish him off in the end, but not quite. So four players do manage to survive for, uh, for complexity, and I think they're feeling pretty good with that. That's a couple rounds in a row now they've actually lived before, and as I said, giving themselves some money in the bank. You just don't want to fight. Buy. I think uh, Blame F has probably stretched the HUD a little more. The pro they're probably designed the box that big so you always see there's a lot of dead space in between them but blame f just barely fits yeah Crazy. he's the only reason they made it that big <laughs> it was just like we have to make it because it's the biggest player oh obo finds four of them it is only the half investment from fanatic but they had a lot of nades they had kevlar on pretty much everyone they had two ak's in play so that's not what they were hoping for it never is no you do not want that to be the way that your light buy works out flush in a 1v5 and Obo, just a great spray. There was nothing to push him off the angle. No flashes thrown inside the smoke or out onto ramp. No deeper smokes. Like, nothing. They just tried to straight run at him. And although he looks like the kind of guy you'd pick out of the complexity lineup for a bit of fisty cuffs in a bar, he's he's got his own. He's like a karate master in disguise. I always love uh, your analogies. Thank you. Thank you. I, I go for blame F. You, you, you need to really assert your alpha dominance, right? Pick the biggest guy in the room. That's what they say. I mean, he is doing that right now. He is not the top fragger, but he has been having a lot of impact. And he kicks off this round with a nice little spam event onto JW, who has been going for those picks for pretty much all of the rounds, or pretty consistently, and has been finding a lot of success, but not this time. Denied completely. There's a man advantage, the damage being done by the nades as well. The Molotov put down by Blame F so that he can give himself some space to move forward and ensure that no one is sprinting up close on him as he even follows up with the second kill. Golden is gone. Brolin and Crims tagged up heavily. This is looking like complexity should be finding themselves map point. What a comeback it's been. You know, they managed to pull from 7-2 down. They were looking flat and down and out. But like we said, when you've got that T side off to a poorer start, it's fine. You can come back into it. You're not going to forgive you on a Mirage. It does too. But on Nuke, yeah, you've definitely got that little bit of leeway. Poison again turning up on the AWP, finding Flusha to pretty much close this out. I mean, it's a 5v2. Brawlin has been a huge clutch player for Fnatic in past games. Like I said, the most recent one versus Heretics, they lost 16-14. He had 36 kills. 
And he's opened it up here as well. I would be cautious if I was complexity. Now, great flashbang to push the opera off the angle. But do they suspect blame F? They're actually clearing it. And oh my god, brawling with another 2v3 bomb plant. This is doable. Yeah, it's given them quite a bit of time. The rotation now coming down through vent. There's going to be, I believe, two players around Decon. Yeah, Rush actually going to move back, I think, to try and join up a poison instead, just so that they can ensure that there's no aggression here around the double doors. And they will realize in just a moment that that isn't the case. Instead, Brolin positioned on ramp. They have Crims up on the rafters. And if they all move in from double doors and window, then this is the crossfire that Fnatic are kind of hoping to be able to utilize. They've set themselves up perfectly for the positions they're coming in from. There we go. The first being found. Brolin doing what he can as he already has two kills to his name. Oh. Gets the headshot. The damage already done to config previously. And there it is. Spamming through the smoke. 15 what? to 14, Fnatic, they steal it away. Brolin with four, Crims with one. It was a two on five, Mitch. What? They were both tagged already as well. They were both already at 42 or so health. What? The pause there is not tactics. It's not, it's just a no. go, calm it's down. Like we need to calm down, calm guys. Calm down, Brolin, relax. What the, what was that? I know I literally just said Brolin, clutch player, yeah, I don't care. That was insane. I didn't expect that. I thought, never yeah, actually expect it. You're like, okay, we know he can do it. <laughs> wow. But still, and then he does it. He just goes ahead. Your complexity right now, that is a kick in the delicates. Man, Brawlin just tore them apart. I mean, a well-played clutch out in the 2v5 overall by both players, but Brawlin, he's just stolen the sunshine. 21 kills on the board. Brings him up to the kind of performance we're expecting from him. I can't process what we've just seen, and I hope Complexity are able to, even despite that there are weaknesses, all right? Fnatic, they've got a, a pistol on Flusha. They've got a Galil on JW, but I, at this point, all they need is an AK on Brawlin. <laughs> it's good. But no, Complexity will need to gather themselves. They'll be happy for the pause just to reset off that a little bit. And Poison, hello, he just goes in an aggressive opera. We've always dubbed him that, but straight in to take down Crims. Blame F tagged up on outside, though, in a little bit of danger. But that's why Poison's on his way there to help out. for Fnatic to be and even with that one player down at Vent, obviously JW is going to be a massive nuisance at this point and as you said has forced some rotations to come true it's actually Obo who's going to move down onto the B bomb site itself and he may find contact pretty soon JW is going to move around towards the window the only issue is if he wants to move forward he would of course have to make quite a bit of noise so he's likely just going to wait for his teammates to go ahead and join up alongside him they've actually been spotted now making their way across the secret which again will allow for complexity to rota rotate down even more players if they want to I would imagine that will happen soon indeed. Sent and blame F up over towards the ramp. That Molotov is a massive help for Obo. Oh. oh, apparently not enough. <laughs> yeah, the Deagle shot's not helping Obo. They've got a player over towards observation as well. Glass broken. Shot's not going to be landing in Config's the one to pick that up. Poison with another. And that's it. We're going to go to an overtime unless Golden's got it in him. Oh, maybe not. Am I calling it too early? Plan will come through. They're not going to continue aggressing. Actually, Poison gets blinded by his teammate's flash. And a 1v3. It's difficult. It starts with a headshot. And he makes it through the single door as well. Oh, oh my God. What? Golden is inspired by Brolin right now. Pops out for the headshot on Rush. And it's all on Blame F. He's actually tagged up. Golden's going to wait for the top on the bomb. He runs oh. out. There it is. Two crazy rounds in a row for...